Hi, so in this video we're going to work out how to work out percentages of whole numbers using fractions. Now there is a way that we can do it by breaking it down into 10% and 5% and 2.5% and that's in another video. But in this particular one I want to have a look at how to use a fraction. So let's say that the question we've been given is 12% of 60. Okay, well one of the things about percentages is percentages really are fractions. So we can rewrite that 12% as 12 divided by 100. And every time you see the percentage sign, what you really mean is that it's that number over 100. And then whenever you see the word of, particularly in exam papers, it means multiply. So I'm writing 12% of, and I've got 60. Now the way I'm going to write it is I'm going to write it as 60 divided by 1. Because what I want to do is to be able to use fractions to be able to calculate the percentage by reducing the fraction to make it easier to manipulate and deal with. So what we've got here is... Uh, if I'm going to rewrite it, I could rewrite it as 12 times 60 divided by 100 times 1. And all I've really done is I've extended this line across here. Now with any fraction, whatever you do to the top, you also need to do to the bottom. So if I look at that, I can find a way in which I can make these numbers a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to deal with. So here I have 60. And here I have 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top and the bottom of this fraction by 10. Now if I do that, I can divide that 60 by 10 and it becomes 6. But because I've divided the top by 10, I have to divide the bottom by 10. And that 100 divided by 10 now will become 10. Okay. So I now have um, a fraction which looks like 12 times 6 divided by 10 times 1. Well, again, I can make my numbers a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to deal with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 2. Now, if I do that, this 10 becomes 5. And I can either divide the 12 by 2 and it becomes 6, or the 6 by 2 and it becomes 3. doesn't really matter, but just for this, I'll divide that by 2, so it becomes 6. So my equation now is, or my fraction now, is 6 times 6, which is 36, divided by 5 times 1, which is 5. So actually, the fraction that I've calculated from 12% of 60 is 36 divided by 5. Well, divided by 5, I can also write a short division. So that 36 divided by 5 is the same as writing how many lots of 5 are there in 36. Well, 7 times 5 is 35. Okay. But actually, I've got one remainder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a decimal. And if you look at some of the other videos, it will show you that I can either say, well, I'm going to remain the 1, in which case that will become 7 and 1 fifth, which is 12% of 60. Or I can use the same um, calculation to work it out as a decimal. So to work it as a decimal, I'm going to put two decimal places after the 36. So 5 into 3 doesn't go. 5 into 36 goes 7. And as I mentioned before, I have 1 left. But this time, rather than making it 1 fifth, I'm going to put that 1 over there. And the same question is going to be, how many lots of 5 are there in 10? There are 2. So in other words... The answer to this question, which is 12% of 60, is either as a fraction, 7 and 1 fifth, or as a decimal, 7.2. And if you look at uh, other videos, that will show you how to use 
um, short division in this particular way. And also, you'll be able to see that one-fifth is exactly the same as 0.2 as a decimal, so both numbers are exactly the same. It largely depends upon how the question has been asked in a paper as to whether you answer as a fraction or you answer as a decimal. And that's how to convert uh, percentages into fractions in order to work out a percentage of a whole number.